Hey y'all, this is Leslie with Scratch Made Homestead coming to you today, today from inside the greenhouse. I know it looks like I'm freezing and I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, leggings, boots, the whole deal. So it's cold outside. It's kind of warm in this greenhouse, which is a good thing. Uh, I, I uh, was watching one of my old videos the other day and because I got a notification from Blake Mills. So this video is for you, Blake. Um, and it was on my live oak trees and uh, he um, asked for an update on it. So I decided to start with my um, uh, chinkapin uh, acorns that I have planted in my egg crates, which is like I did the live oak ones, um, but I didn't have that on video. So I decided I would uh, show you this. Um, so here's what they look like right now um, I don't see any coming up yet we had a little cold spell and uh, so I'm just trying my best to keep them uh, watered oh is that no that's a little uh, <laughs> that's a little I don't know fertilizer or whatever it is in the in the dirt but um, okay so back to the live oaks um, I hear Danny coming up so I'll turn you around um, back when, um, I did that live oak, uh, video, the live oak tree video, it was very early on, um, and I had, I had to go back and watch it and remember some things, so here comes Danny from, uh, the food plot, but, um, we didn't have most of this. We didn't stay up here all the time. We, um just were able to come up here on the weekends and um, do what we could. So when I got the uh, live oak acorns and I brought them up and everything, um, planted them out here, and then we started adding other things. Like back then, we didn't have a chicken coop. Uh, this is our compost and my uh, worm bin. Um, I had, uh, oh gosh, oh, I can't think of the name of the gourd that I grew, and that's the remnants of it, so it's a gourd like this. I have all the other ones pulled, but, um, let me see if I can get it. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. So, it's a mayo bule or something along that line. They're really cool gourds, and you just use them for, um, uh, to put stuff in, let them dry out, and what have you. So we um, back to the the video. We did not have rabbits, and we did not have our barn. And so we've. This is how far we've come. See that trailer right back there? It used to be right there. So we moved it there, and we're building a cabin right there. But in the meantime, in that cabin. The air conditioner cut out in the heat drought this summer, and we moved to, thank God we had it, our grow shed. And so that's where we're living right now. Um, but again, back to the live oaks. Um, we did plant some uh, peaches, pears, plums, and that's all down there. Um, I have some grapefruit and um, blood oranges, limes and lemons. Uh, one thing that being, you know, the holiday season right now, we, um, we didn't have enough room for a, um, uh, for a Christmas tree. And so I thought, well, mm, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So we decided to get a Christmas tree and plant it. And I have solar lights on it. And there it is right there. So this is uh, one of our gardens that uh, we tilled up, oh, maybe a month or so ago. We've got all kinds of stuff in there, ryegrass and peas and carrots and beets. I just took some, I was kind of getting rid of some of my old seeds and such. So I guess I say all this to say, Blake cut me some slack on what my trees look like. I'm very proud of them, don't get me wrong, and it's my fault. 
they would be so much better if I had time to mulch them. And as we speak, I've had ordered two 18-wheeler loads of, of uh, mulch uh, for about two months now, and I'm still waiting on it. So I'm working on it, dude, but, uh, you know, we have, we have a full-time job plus some and all this. So um, I'm going to start you at the beginning of the driveway and because uh, that's where the live oaks start um so give me just a second i'm almost there it's a beautiful day y'all can see behind me it's a beautiful day here and it's not as cold as i look but i'm just cold so in some spots i'm in the shade so it's colder here but um all right so i'm gonna turn you around and right about Mm, right about there is where the Kubota was in the uh, in the, the first video. Um, but here are the first two live oaks. You can see, and we've had quite a bit of tractor work done up here since we planted these. And you can see that poor little baby. He needs to be uprighted. Something run over him. Um, and truth be known, some of these I'm going to probably have to move, like especially uh, this one. And then I have one just the opposite side of the driveway. Um, it's much taller, but I still don't think I either need to take all this out from around it or move it. Um, so that's, that's where we go with that. Uh, and then here's the next couple. And I'll show you how um, how tall they are. Hold on a second. So I am 5'4". So, yep. About four and a half feet. This one across from it. It's, um, you know, it's as tall. It's already lost some, uh, or it has lost some, some uh, leaves, but... Um, so, then the others are anywhere from that size, you can see over there, these are doing much better than the other ones. This is a different kind of um, oak tree that my son told me to get. I can't remember what it is, but it's in the very middle. So it'll go up and have a canopy. And then these um, trees will meet it, hopefully. Um, so then there's the ones over there and over there and three it, it, where the uh, little um, orange flag is, is where the trees stop. But I wanted to show you this one. That one is the biggest one. Why it loves it right there is beyond me, but it sure does. Turn it around. So yeah, I had to back up to get it all in, uh, in the screen. So, and that trunk is probably about maybe three inches in diameter. But again, don't hate on me. I need to mulch, I know I need to mulch. But, um, you know, life-changing events happen. And, you know, they, I think they've weathered very well considering the drought that we had. And um, they were not mulched. Um, so yeah, I would say they're doing pretty good. But yeah, I'm gonna try my best to get some mulch on them and uh, before it gets cold again. Um, Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I love you guys. Thank you for commenting. Y'all, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. Scratch Made Homestead. This is Leslie. Peace, y'all.